Hey, good afternoon from the farmer's garden. I'm one of the farmers, but I'm obviously not in the garden. Today I'm gonna to try something a little bit different. One of Brandon's grandmothers has been teasing me that I'm the next pioneer woman, so I guess I'm gonna try that. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a squash casserole. We have so many squash and zucchini ready right now, and so this is a super fun way to use them. Um, it's also a great way to use up the ugly squash that maybe you don't want to fry or you know anything that you might see them better because they're all so squished together and wonderful at the end of this. So I'm gonna see if I'm talented enough to show y'all how to make a squash casserole. We're gonna find out. Okay I'm gonna start by showing you all the ingredients. This is all you need and I'm going to be making like one and a half squash casserole. I don't measure anything. I'm just a dump cook. So, um, but what I'm trying to do is make a small one that we're going to eat tonight and another one I'm going to put in the fridge for another night this week. So this is, um, more than you would need if you're just trying to make one for your family, but I'll show you how big it comes out at the end for you to get an idea. So we've got onion, crackers, eggs, cheese, cream of mushroom, and the squash and zucchini. And like I say, you can use your not wonderful squash for this. We tend to keep the uglies for ourselves. And so if you've got some that maybe have been in the fridge for a while, they're starting to look soft or, or weird, this is a good way to use those up. So let's see how to make this. It's super simple. You're gonna love it. Okay, so I've already got a pot of water over here on the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting that hot just to make this a little faster. Um, this, as far as the squash and zucchini go, we keep that really easy. Take the ends off and you can either just slice it in rounds, as thin or as thick as you like it, or if you're in some of these larger pieces, you can cut it in half or in quarters first. It's up to you. It's all gonna end up somewhat like mashed potatoes in the end anyway. Um, as far as the consistency, it's gonna be real soft. So there's no need to worry about how it looks. You can just kind of chop at it, okay? This one may end up being a little too soft. Nope, I can use this end. Like I say, we keep the, the not great squash and zucchini for ourselves. And so this is a good way for me to use those up. Some of them are too soft to fry, but they work good this way. So I'm just gonna finish chopping these squash and then we'll move to the next step. All right, so I finished chopping the squash and zucchini. You can see I wasn't real picky about size or shape of these, just get them chopped. Um, once they're done cooking, it won't really matter what size and shape. So next will be the onion. All right, I've got a few slightly picky eaters, so I don't put a ton of onion in mine. If you just love onion, go for it, use a bunch. I'm gonna use about half this onion. Um, Full confession, this is not an onion from our garden. We are almost sold out of onions from our garden, and I forgot to grab one anyway, so this is a store onion. Um, but we do have just a few left if you'd like to use our onions to make this. Well, I'm having trouble getting it peeled. There it goes. So we're just gonna peel the outside pa uh, paper layers off of there. Same as always. Our onions peel better than this. That's kind of annoying. All right. And then we're just gonna slice this up. I like to do my pieces really small. Again, if you like big chunks of onions, cut it how you want. Um, I just like to make sure mine are small so they cook down nice and easy so that the kids don't notice them in there because onion is the one vegetable that they're picky about. All right, so that gets all the vegetables chopped for us. We've got the onions, we've got the squash and zucchini. So we're gonna put them in the pot of boiling water and cook them until they're soft in there. Okay, while the squash and zucchini is boiling, I'm gonna start making the crumbly good stuff that goes in the middle of it. So we start with crackers. I like the little Ritz crackers. You can use saltines, you can use um, wheat thins, whatever you like. Doesn't really matter, I just like these. So we're just gonna crush them up. And I cheat and crush them in the sleeve, you can crush them in a bag, you can crush them in a the bowl, doesn't matter. Again, I am not a precise cook. If I can't dump it together, I probably don't cook it. 
So I've got two sleeves of crackers this time. And those go in the bowl. Go ahead and squish up the bigger pieces that went in. It doesn't really matter because it's going to all cook down anyway. I'm going to use two cans of cream of mushroom today because I am making a larger batch. If you're just making for your family, you might not need two cans. Hopefully I picked a big enough bowl to mix this in. That's my, um, my weakness. So those go in with the crackers so that we can kind of stir those up and start getting those cracker crumbs nice and soft. Whoop, better stir the squash that's about to boil over. So we're just boiling the squash and zucchini and the onions until they're tender. So not really a very precise time on it, just cook them until they're tender. All right, in with this uh, cream of mushroom and crackers, I'm gonna add some eggs. Uh, I'm gonna start with two and see what that looks like. I may do more than that, but I'm gonna just start with two and see kind of how that looks. There's one. And I happen to know a place to get some wonderful fresh eggs if you need some. So two beautiful eggs, just kind of stir those in. And the idea here is to just kind of make this sauce, um, it's got to be thick enough to kind of hold it all together because this is going to be a little bit like a dressing when it's done. Um, so yeah, I think two eggs will be plenty. And we will let all of this set and let the cracker crumbs kind of break down in there until the squash and zucchini is ready and then we'll mix them all together. Okay, so I'm just going to drain this in a colander over the sink. You can use a lid, whatever you want to do. All right, well, that's warm. All right, so you can see maybe these are nice and tender and soft in here. And next I'm gonna stir in the cream of mushroom soup and cracker mixture. This is a really fast dish to make. I started this like 20 minutes ago. And that's with all the extra stuff with the camera and the thought that you will not be doing at home on a Thursday night. All right, so we've got it all mixed up. So now we've got like a little goopy slurp, right? It doesn't look amazing, but trust me at the end, it will taste amazing. So I'm gonna do the small pan first. A little into there and then all the rest into the big pan. All right and I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees and we will put this, I'm going to top it with cheese because everything is better with cheese, right? And then we will throw this in the oven and bake it until everything is bubbly and that cheese is nice and melted and then it's ready to eat. So let me show you what this looks like in the pan and then we'll top it with cheese and we'll get it in the oven. Okay, so here's our two pans and you can see what I meant when I said that it doesn't matter what shape, like how you get them all sliced up. It does not have to be professional because it won't matter. All right, so now we throw on the cheese
lots of cheese because that's how I like it and then it's going to go into the oven until that cheese is nice and melted and delicious all right these guys were in the oven for 10 minutes or so and they are nice and bubbly the cheese is melted wonderfully delicious and so they are out and ready to serve and I don't want you to be too jealous so I won't show you what they look like when I eat them because I could eat this whole pan at a time but anyways that's squash casserole and we have loads and loads of squash available right now this is super easy to make you can use up um, if you've got some squash in your fridge already this is a good way to use some of it up and I hope you learned a little something hope you enjoyed your visit to my kitchen today um, be sure and come back when you can stay longer